Hey everyone, I'm Armazini and welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun Hong Kong. So, let's continue where we left off and it's time to go to the lower level. But before we do that, there's one more person that we need to talk with. This guy. Let's see if he's going to join. So, we're taking the sinking ship back from the Rat King. Will you help us? He shakes his head sadly. No, I'm afraid not. I'm a lover, not a fighter. We can grab him with 500. Or we can use strength. If you don't get off your scrawny ass and fight, I'll snap you in half like a twig. How does that sound? <laughs> That's a little bit brutal, but... I don't want to pay 500 new yen. Screw that. We'll go with this one. Fair. It sounds fair. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> that was satisfying. When the fighting starts, you take our side. Got it? Yes. Yes, of course. You can count on me. Well, that was easy. <laughs> can we inspect this? Yeah, I don't think that will actually do anything. Alright, so let's go to the lower level. We know how to disable the trap and not die a terrible death. So, disable the trap. Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's go. See what awaits us on the lower level. Probably nothing pleasant, based on what we already know. Yeah, that looks nasty. That's the killing pit, basically. Stepping into this room is like wading into the killing floor of a slaughterhouse. There isn't an inch of ground that isn't caked with spilled blood. The stench that floods into your nostrils is as overpowering as it is vile. It is the stench of rotten beef and stale vomit, of warm blood poured into a chemical toilet and left out in the sun to cook. The buzzing of flies in your ears helps bring you back to your senses. Yeah, that doesn't sound very pleasant. Blinking against the light, you see stacks of moldering trash piled nearly to the ceiling. The piles of dead bodies are stacked nearly as high. Okay, so... Turn to Gobet. Are you okay? She doesn't seem to notice you. Her jaw hangs open in horror. As her eyes move from atrocity to atrocity, her cheeks slowly drain of color. Gobet grasps for a way to finish her thought. She doesn't find one. I'm sorry, Gobet. I know that these people were friends. A lot of them were. Some I don't know. They all deserved better than this. The Rat King is supposed to be down on this level. That means we're headed in the right direction. After seeing this, I don't think that this raft is worth saving. We should go back to my original plan, Ciel. Let's send this thing to the bottom. That's where it belongs. You can't do that, Gobet. We've already told Cadmos that we're going to help him. He's been getting the other mutineers ready to fight, not to evacuate. If we sink this thing now, they might not even make it off the boat. We'll tell them that we've changed our minds using the alarm system. They'll make it out. Trust me. We made a promise, Gobet. I think that we should keep it. I think so too. I think it's a stupid idea, Seattle. But if you really want to do this, then I'll help you get it done. At least this way, I'll get to look the Rat King in the eye when I kill it. Damn right. If we're going to do this, we need to find Malvina's old cabin. It should be west of here. Got it. I'll have to get the shiny object away from the Rat King if we want to kill it. That's probably gonna be tricky. I don't think that she'll just let me saunter up and take it. Okay, we do tricky things every day. You've stolen the shiny object twice already. Thirty times the charm, right? Yeah, pre makes a list. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. So this is what we need to use if we want to blow up the thing, I suppose. The scuttling charge is old, very old. The case is cracked and leaking, and you can see exposed wires underneath. A large red toggle switch serves as a safety. It is currently set to armed. Yeah, let's not do anything with that. Actually, hold on. It's set to armed? Remaining charges. Well, what if we disable it? Disarmed. 
Um, Seattle, what are you doing? Disabling the safety on the scuttling charge. Right, we disabled the safety. We probably shouldn't do that. That's not the plan. But I thought we were going to aid in the mutiny. Are we going back to my old plan? No, we are not going back to the old plan. Although, maybe we should arm some of them just in case. As in disable the safeties. No, I still want to help Cadmos. I just think that we should disable the safeties on the bombs too, just in case. I'm fine with disabling the safeties as a contingency plan. There's no point in doing it if we aren't going to sink the raft. But there's no harm in keeping our options open either. The engine room is our point of no return though. Once we head in there and I start diverting power to the bombs, all bets are off. Odds are good that we'll have a fight on our hands. If we do change plans and decide to sink the raft, we'd better let Cad and his people know about it. They're expecting to mutiny, not abandon ship. If we don't give them a heads up, they'd be headed on a one-way trip to the bottom of the bay. Right, well, let's keep moving. We are not sending the ship to the bottom of the sea. Okay, rats? Yep, pretty much. I mean, I guess we expected that, right? There will be a lot of rats down on this level. It shouldn't be a big problem, especially now when we got Gobet. On the other hand, that probably means we'll have more rats to deal with. Anyway, let's use Pommel Strike to reduce their action points first, like so. And one more. There. We hit them all, and now we can probably kill at least some of them. No problem. Do we want to use Haste? Probably, yeah, why not? Let's use Haste on Isabel. That sounds useful. And we can still take a shot. Aimed Burst or Regular Burst. Let's use aimed one. There. That was 17 damage. We can probably kill at least one rat, no problem. There, one down. Can we get one more? Probably not, or possibly. Nope, we missed that shot. One more shot. There, he's down. We kill two rats on the first turn. Not too bad. And there are only three more. We can deal with that easily. So let's use Frost this time for some extra damage. Although Hulk's roll isn't exactly damage. It's AP reduction. That's his job. That's what he's supposed to be doing most of the time. Come on, kill that rat. There, he's down. One more. Are we done? Or is there one more? Oh yeah, there's one more over here. Standing right next to us, in fact. Okay. It's almost down. He's down, we're done. So let's move on. We need to go west. So I assume this way. Open door. Yep. Anyone home? Scuttling charge over there. What's this? An old relay switch box hangs off the wall. Of the wall. The plastic exterior of the case is broken in numerous places, and a jumble of wires spill out of the cracks. This must be the shipboard alert system, or what's left of it. Your eyes are drawn to a large lever marked alarm. Okay, well, we shouldn't be doing that just yet. Not yet, no. Let's look around a bit. We need to find that shiny object or whatever. Well, we need to find her room. It was supposed to be west. Well, this is the only way we can still go, so... We are going this way. Okay. Another scuttling charge. We aren't touching that. This door is heavy. It could easily be barred to prevent outside intrusion. But it's but instead it stands ajar. It's almost as if it's inviting you in. That's Malvina's old cabin. The seat of power for the sinking ship. That's where Rad Kings is gonna be. Once we go in there, we're going to be in, in this. There's no changing our minds after we've picked a fight with that thing. Or just say, Hulk, are we doing this or not? Now, let's back away. We need to use that alarm thingy. Let's check this room. More scuttling charges. So this area isn't very big. We got a salve. Oh yeah, that's quite useful. That's actually really nice. Let's go back to the alarm system then. We are going to fight the Rat King. 
We are not sinking the ship. Let's do it then. So, pull it twice to signal Cadmus. Yep, to start the mutiny. Done. The alarm system blares once, then twice. The sound is ear-splitting. Moments later, the distant sound of gunshots filters down from above. Alright, let's do this. Could be fun. Looking forward to it. Let's do it. Yep, enter the room. Hey, what's up? Well, that thing looks pretty ugly. We are not in combat yet. The thing that looms over you is horrifying. A twisted amalgamation of woman and swarm, knotted and tied together into a single hole. Gobet. The creature's voice is unnerving. A thousand rumbling voices, all intervowing and laid over the top of Malvina's crisp, cultured speech. You have returned to us, little mouse. You, the instigator of our own ascendancy. The Rat King shifts his gaze to a nearby altar. A gleaming red stone has been ensconced within. The keystone, the source of our unity. The font of power that makes us strong. Your gift to us, little mouse. You gave us what we needed to bring this raft to order. Gobet's nose crinkles in revulsion. On her shoulders, madness and folly, chitter and shriek. Save me the speech, Malvina, or whatever you are. I am not here to talk. The new body isn't doing you any favors, by the way. You look like a furry tree stump. The creature leans forward into the light. A fine featured face with high cheekbones and piercing eyes stares down at you. The carpet of living vermin that bury the rest of Malvina's head and neck struggle and shriek. Our new body is beauty itself, unity of biology and unity of purpose. Well, I don't really want to talk with that thing, to be honest. You are a monster and a foul one at that. We are order out of chaos, the death of entropy, a glorious unity. Oh, fuck this. She pulls back the slide on her weapon. We are here to kill this thing, not let it talk to... Not let it talk us to death. Done, right? Alright, let's do it. So, I assume we have to do something with that stone or whatever. And we can't just attack. The Rat King. It has over 100 health. Can we reduce the AP, however? Yes, we can. Okay, that's useful then. Like so. And thrust or something. That sounds useful. So, do we need to do anything with that stone or something? I don't know. I don't see anything that we could interact with. So, we just attack it? We were supposed to steal the shiny object. I'm not sure what happened with that. Alright, well, let's just attack it for now. Let's see. Well, this is going to be very interesting. I'm not quite sure just how much damage this stupid thing is going to do. Probably a lot. Anyway, let's use haste on Isabel. And might want to move her around a bit. Yeah, let's move her a bit. We can spread out slightly in case the Rat King has some kind of AoE. So, burst fire. Nice damage. There. The Rat King recoils, but only for a moment. A strange energy washes over it, bathing his body in indigo light. Yep, well, we knew something is going to happen, clearly. But that was a lot of damage that we did. Demon rats are incoming. Okay, then. We can use our lightning bolt. Because why not? There we go. And, well, move. Or just attack the demon rat. Can we use the grenade launcher? Yes, we can. I don't think we'll hit more than one. Yes, we will. Nice. One more. There. Awesome. We can probably kill at least one. For sure. Now we miss. Damn it. Seriously, we missed again? Come on, now. Can we shoot it from back here? Yeah. Nope, missed again. Only 48%. There we go, it's down. Yes, we know. What about it? Hulk. We'll just move a little bit closer. And maybe use Overwatch. I like that plan. 
I assume Deras will move towards us, that's pretty obvious. So we'll use Overwatch like so. So we'll attack them if they try to move through here. And not much point moving into cover. Well, I mean, I don't know what kind of attacks the Rat King has. It might have some magical attacks. Not much point shooting it, I suppose, because of that magical shield. Not much point using a heal. Let's just shoot a rat, why not? We'll probably miss, but whatever. Oh yeah, the rats have some kind of ranged AoE. Good to know. It's fine, Hulk can take it. So, can we kill them without moving in with Hulk? Good question. We do have some grenades. I'm not convinced it's worth throwing it, but it would do pretty good damage. Let's throw one. There, that's a proximity mine. Shoot the rat. Gobet. It needs to be a tiny little bit closer. This is too far away to have decent chance to hit. Yep, we aren't going to hit like this. And now we need to reload. So Hulk. I think I'll just stick with Overwatch. Okay, the Rat King is moving. There's the mine. And the rat is dead. We got more rats incoming. Well, they just keep spawning. This is the first time I do this fight, so I have no idea how exactly it works. I can only guess. Oh, there's something over here. Okay, good to know. What do we want to do here? We can reload the grenade launcher and then just use it. I like that plan. Could do good damage. Yep, 22 damage total. And they are on fire. We can actually use it one more time. There. Very nice. 44 damage total. What else? We got haste again. Could just use that on Hulk. Yep, plus one AP. We could also use whatever it's called, stride. Probably worth doing. Plus four movement. And attack the rats with frost. I don't think we can kill it. We would have to do 17 damage. We would have to hit twice with frost. Well, maybe we can do it. It's down to 7 health. Nope, we missed. Damn it. Oh well. What is the Rat King doing? So far, I'm not too impressed with the Rat King. It's not doing a whole lot. But perhaps that will change. So, kill this stupid thing. Rip. And maybe do some healing on Hulk. Not a whole lot of healing, but better than nothing, right? Reload the grenade launcher in case we'll need it. Which we might. Really? You missed with that? Come on, now. There, that's better. And... Move in? What are we supposed to do with this? I can't interact with that. So I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do. Yeah, I can't interact with anything here. So I don't know what that's all about. Not a clue. Maybe we'll find out on the next turn. So what's going on? Other than Hulk taking damage? Hi. Okay. Well, I have no idea what this is all about. Do we need to bring Gobet there? Oh, we can pick this up. Okay, shiny object. Gobet picked it up. The Rat King shrieks as Gobet lifts the shiny object in her hands. In his voice, you can hear the echoes of a thousand inhuman beings. This is interesting. She hugs the shiny object to her chest, her bare hands caressing the stone. I can feel Malvina's control over the rats. It's like a thousand strings connecting her to them. And it feels like one of the Rat King's servitors shudders in place. Slowly, seemingly against its own will, it lifts its head to stare at you. I can tug at those strings. We will rend you all to pieces, tear your flesh to shreds. Gobet dances back, throttling the shiny object like a newborn baby. She begins to laugh. Buy me a little time, Seattle. I'm still getting used to this thing, but if you give me a minute or two, those demon rats will be mine. I can do that. Okay, that was slightly disturbing. Anyway. He's attuning to the shiny object. Fair enough. 
Yeah, that was just a little bit disturbing. I hope she won't get any silly ideas about keeping that thing. Well, not much point attacking the Rat King. I suppose we could heal ourselves? Might as well. Just in case. I think it's a good idea. And... Overwatch. You can also Overwatch because why the heck not? I mean, there's no point attacking the Rat King because we'll do zero damage. So... Pff, we'll just use Overwatch. I see no point doing anything else. And we'll tank some damage. That's all we can do. Soak some damage. Oh, there we go. The shield is gone. Now we can do damage. Good, good. Alright, best way to do it? We could just haste on someone. Probably not on Hulk. Maybe on Isabel. Hulk needs to use AP reduction. Like so. And like this. Then thrust. It is back to full health, so we'll need to bring it down to zero. All over again. That's fine. As long as we stop missing, that will be great. One more. 99%. That's slightly better, not a whole lot better. Yeah, that's not a whole lot of damage, but at least it's down to 43 health. We can probably bring it down on this turn. As long as we stop missing. There. And... Keep shooting it. I'm not using the grenade launcher with Hulk standing over there. The Rat King's body shudders and convulses. As you watch, the living carpet of devil rats that forms the majority of its bulk begins to writhe. Malvina opens her mouth to speak, but you'll never know what she was going to say. The only sound that escapes from her throat is a long, ragged scream. With a dawning horror, you come to realize what you're looking at. The devil rats that surround Malvina are turning inward. She is being eaten alive. Gobet stares, dead-eyed, at her former friend as the swarm that is bound to her, to her rips her body apart. Black blood pours in rivers to the aluminum-lined floor. That's what you get, monster. Come on, Gobet, let's get the hell out of here. If You go if you want to. I'm watching this. I owe Malvina that much. The ghastly feast unfolding before you continues long after Malvina's screams have died away. Finally, satisfied, Gobet nods to you. The raft is ours. It's over. I don't know what you just did, but whatever it was, it worked. Those rat things turned on Malvina's loyalists. And when they got done eating them, they started eating each other. Yeah, I know. I told them to. Right after I did the same to the Rat King. Malvina's dead, Cad. You did good, Gobet. You and your friends. We won. Come on, come on up topside. A celebration is in order. No, Cad. No celebrations. And no milling around. You can keep this place. I'm done with it. Too many bad memories. And besides all of that, you've got a hell of a mess on your hands. I'll be damned if I'm gonna help clean it up. You've already helped us clean up, Gobet. We'll always owe you for that. Yeah, well, let's not make a big deal out of it. Goodbye, Cad. And good luck. Captain Jomo is still waiting for us outside. Ready to go home? Beyond ready. And this stupid thing is taking a one-way trip to the bottom of the bay. Good call. Sure you, want, you don't want to sell it? No, we don't want to sell it. Just throw it away. You could hang onto it yourself if you wanted. How about no? That's a terrible idea. That's a worst, uh, the worst idea in the history of bad ideas. We're done. Well, that was an interesting fight. And an interesting mission, I have to say. Captain Joma's speedboat carries you away from the sinking ship, now liberated from the tyranny of the Rat King once and for all. The shiny object rests with Malvina's bones at the bottom of the Hung Hong Bay. Gobet stares back at the raft as it recedes into the distance. Her expression is once happy and sad. Isabel takes her hand, and together they turn away. Hioi grows closer. You're going home. Will we get any karma? Should probably spend some of it. 
Also, we should check Spider Shen for any new gear. Are we there yet? Alright, we got 8 Karma. So... What else do we have? Oh yeah, right, we have the mission of no return or whatever you want to call it. We aren't doing that one just yet, we still got some jobs that we can accept. Let's talk with Spider Shen real quick. See what he has. Any new armor? Yeah, there is new armor in fact, I will buy that. It's not exactly cheap, but yeah, we are buying that for sure. We are. Okay. So, Hulk will use that. And that's that. Yep, I guess that's it. And we can give him another medkit. But we can always do that before the mission. Did he have any new weapons for sale? Anything better? Yeah, laser axe. That's pretty expensive, we actually can't afford that. <laughs> okay then. Well, that's funny, we actually can't afford that. I guess we want to be buying it then. But it's good to know that it's there. It requires 7 in close combat. Okay, I guess we're done with Shen for now. Let's go back to the mission computer. I think we had two or three more jobs. Unless there's something new, but I don't think so. There wasn't anything new the previous time. So I doubt there will be anything new now. Let's have a look. So, check inbox messages. Yeah, these are all messages that were here before. Out of town? I'm not in Hioi right now, so don't bother coming to see me. We'll talk when I return. Well, yeah, continue with our business. Are these all jobs that we can accept? Hulk, I need you to come to the parlor. A friend and business partner of mine, named Dr. Shen Yang, has need of your services. Something about attending a fancy party in Ripple's Bay. He was unwilling to give me the details. I think he wanted to size you up himself. Why does it say we have 200 messages when we clearly have three? But anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.